Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to share with you everything that I've bought for Easter for my son Arthur who is two and then I'm also going to show you what I'm doing for his Easter basket plus also his Easter hunt that I'm going to do for him. And I just want to say in terms of the Easter basket, I never had really heard of Easter baskets until really recently and I kind of think about them the same way as I do with the Christmas Eve baskets because before I was doing that I used to think that it was a bit kind of excessive, that you didn't really need it, but then I kind of realised actually you do end up buying different things for these type of seasons and it is, I think it's nice, you know, you just buy little treats or little presents or little activities to kind of keep them entertained and I also think probably for older children that are at school and then they have their school holidays, obviously I'm sure people buy stuff to keep them occupied during the holidays, so an Easter basket, please don't feel like if you haven't done an official Easter basket or you haven't bought all this extra stuff, then don't worry. I don't want this video to kind of make anyone feel like, oh, you know, I haven't done something or should I be doing that? Because we all know what it's like, especially when you go on social media and everyone's like buying this and doing this activity, you know, and taking their children to wherever. Sometimes you can kind of feel like, oh, you know, am I the only parent not doing something? So if you haven't done an Easter basket, don't worry. Um, I'm using the term Easter basket quite loosely. It's probably just going to be a place where I kind of collate all of Arthur's little things that I've bought for him. I mean, when I was younger, I can't, I'm not sure, I'd have to ask my mum. I mean, we got an Easter egg, whether we got anything else, definitely not when we were older, we didn't get any presents. So yeah, I haven't gone overboard, but I have ended up spending probably quite a lot, but I think with a lot of these things, they will last for hopefully a few Easter's to come so it's not like I'll be buying this or spending this money every year. So anyway with all that said I'm going to show you what I've bought first so this is I think everything is from Pineland and also the range and I have just thought annoyingly there are two little things in the car which I've forgotten. I've bought a little wind-up rabbit and also a wind-up little like furry duck that also hop along and they were one pound each in Pineland. I bought one quite a few weeks ago and then I bought one the other day. So Let's get into the rest of the stuff that I've got for Arthur. So I have got quite a big bag here, as you can see. So there's a lot to get through. So I'll just show you the little egg that we got him. So we only wanted to get him like a small Easter egg. He didn't have one last year. And annoyingly, actually, I did see this kind of size egg, which is only a pound, but I saw one at Pineland, but it had a picture of Peter Rabbit on. I mean, it's only the box, but Arthur loves Peter Rabbit, so I would have got that instead. But we'd already bought this one so yeah i just want to show you the little easter egg that we've got for him in no particular order so this is from pineland and it's just a bit of paper shred and i did actually buy some of this last year and it came in different like it was a multi-colored bag which i would have preferred really it would have been better literally just to put at the bottom of his easter basket last year i did an activity with it so yeah i might might do that this year as well but yeah so i find that for a pound then I got these in Poundland, which you may have seen. So I have done a come shop with me at the range and Poundland, which is obviously where I've got all this stuff. So if you want to see kind of the other things that they've got in store, I'll leave those videos linked below. But I did get these little sheep. Hopefully you can see them. So they were only a pound and they're just kind of little woolly things really with their little faces stuck on there. But I just thought they're really cute. I really like them. Arthur saw some sheep the other day and like little baby lambs lambs and he loved them so yeah I really wanted to buy some little sheep so so I'm not doing just an Easter egg hunt because I think that's too much chocolate for him so I'm going to put like some other things around our garden which I'm quite excited about because I didn't do it last year so I might put these I have got some fillable eggs I think I've bought some new ones but I have got a few still intact from last year so yeah I might do that with those also with this kind of thing you can do like a themed play so we have a tough tray which I don't do as often as I would like really but I, you kind of like can like set up a nice little scene something so that's kind of an like Easter spring but equally he loves farms and tractors so these aren't just for Easter really. Similarly with these I got these in Poundland for a pound it's just little like nests for eggs and I thought that would be quite good if I'm doing any sort of themed activity again. Then I found some activities to keep him occupied. So these are paint your own eggs. It does come with, I think there's five, five little pots of paint in there and a little paintbrush. Um, and that was in Poundland as well. Arthur loves Peter Rabbit at the moment. Um, Poundland had quite a good selection of Peter Rabbit things in there. So do go and watch my video because I 
yeah, there was really, really lovely things in there. I did buy him some bubbles, like a really big tube of them, which he has been playing with recently in the garden, and he loves them. So I found this in Pineland. This was £4. They had also some really good garden games as well. But anyway, yeah, I bought this. So it's just six little, like, figurines, and it does come with paint and a paintbrush as well. So there's all the different... Well, there's Peter Rabbit, Lily Bobtail, Benjamin Bunny, Ladybird, a treat, and a carrot. And, I mean, this isn't necessarily specifically for Easter. As I said, he loves Peter Rabbit anyway, but I just thought it was really cute. He loves painting, loves kind of doing our little arts and crafts. So, yeah, I thought he really liked doing that. Then I found an activity book in Poundland. So, this, I mean, it's got colouring in, which obviously he'll do, but there's some things which, you know, like a word search, he won't be able to do. But it's just got quite a few nice pictures in it, really. So, even if it's not for the activity, he can just kind of colour in all the different pages so that was a pound i really want to do baking with arthur and i'm not kidding you for ages now probably even before i had arthur i just always kind of like imagined baking with my child which sounds i don't know if that sounds silly but you know you know when you like want a child and you just kind of like daydream about things that you do with them baking was always up there i don't really know why because i'm not like a massive baker or anything um, but anyway, yes, I really want to bake with Arthur. I've done like a couple of little things with him. Um, but I find this in Poundland, it's a little cupcake kit. So it comes with some little cupcake cases and then also the little, I don't know what you call them, like cupcake toppers. So there's rabbit ones and chick ones. And I thought it wasn't too bad for a pound. There's 24 of them. Um, but yeah, I thought that was really cute. And obviously if I don't use all of them, then they'll do for next year or whenever else. But I bought lots of bacon stuff recently, so yeah, I thought that'd be really good. So these are the fillable eggs that I was talking about. These are from the range, but they did have them in Poundland as well. And they had a few different sizes actually in Poundland, but it might have been better. And I'll just quickly show you, also in this bag, I've got a few of the things left over from last year. So these are the ones that I got last year. I can't remember where I'm from. Um, but as you can tell, they're a bit bigger. I think this was Poundland actually. Um, so yeah, I do have a few of these, so I'm going to kind of see what I've got and what fits best in which size. But this will be for his Easter hunt, so I'll just like hide things inside of the eggs and just like place them around the garden. Also last year I did do an Easter themed tough tray, like activity play day thing, where, where I did use some of these in that, so I could do that as well. I got these carrots. Now I did get some like this last year from Home Bargains and they kind of didn't really last long and what I did I put little holes into an old egg box and so he could like you know dig out the carrots type activity uh, but they didn't last long but you know I just thought I would get some more they're only a pound you get six in there and yeah this is probably more for some sort of activity. Also from Poundland it is not kind of an Easter thing but he loves stamps, so I've got stamps like this. I got some for Halloween and also for Christmas, but I haven't really got any just generic ones that he can use any time of the year. So when I saw these in Poundland, I thought I'd just get them. So yeah, it's just like various designs on them. I got this little Peter Rabbit chocolate. I can't remember where this was from, but yeah, as I say, he loves Peter Rabbit. So that's a nice bit of chocolate. It's quite big, really. Um, so as I say, he's not probably gonna have all of this. Um, probably have to like break it up and you know me and my husband will probably have some of it and then we've also got this little buddy as well which I think I said to you in some haul before I found one in the range but the ears fell off I think it was I don't remember how much it was but I saw one again in Asda and it was much cheaper so yeah as I said the ears fell off the original one so that's gone that's been eaten by me and Matt so I just did just get this little one as well from Asda a little while ago so this will be Arthur's and I think this will probably go in his Easter hunt as well so yeah there's that one. Now I'll show you this which isn't really I mean I just was buying this anyway well actually my mum ended up buying it for Arthur doesn't, doesn't look like much but it's a little wooden thing and what it is is it's handmade by um, this little I don't know company I suppose I don't know what you call them um, based at a National Trust place that we visit and it's a paint your own bug so I don't know if you can kind of tell they did have ones already painted but yeah so it's kind of like a ladybird shape so obviously they just painted like a ladybird so I did take a picture of the ones that they've painted at their suggestion so I might even show Arthur that and tell him that's kind of what we're going to make this one look like but yeah I thought I could just pop that in with his basket too 
And then I ended up buying two baskets. So originally I bought this one in the range and the range had this size or like really big ones with really long handles. And I just thought, obviously he's only little, he's only two, the long handles will just, you know, the basket will be dragging along the floor. So I bought this one, but I thought, well, he's not really gonna fit much in there in terms of his Easter hunt. I mean, he might, I don't know, but so I bought it and I kind of regretted it. So when I went to Pineland, I did buy this one, which is obviously quite a lot bigger. Yeah, it's it's quite a lot bigger. I got a green one, they have different colours. He chose the green one. So we'll see. But I thought also this one, I mean, like I said, I can reuse it for next year anyway, but also it's probably quite a nice little size maybe to put like a few toys in anyway. So I can just like keep it out probably. So that was a pound. I think actually that, that one was probably, no, I think that might have been one pound fifty. And that might have been a bit over a pound as well. So we've got two. So we'll see which one works best. I found these little milk chocolate lambs in Aldi. I think they also have duck ones as well. So it's just a little tub of little chocolates. Um, and again, this isn't all gonna be for Arthur. So I might just maybe like put a couple of the chocolates into one of these eggs or something like that. I'm not really sure, but yeah, I thought they were really, really cute. And as I said, he loves sheep and lambs. So I had to buy those when I find them. Last year, I bought these Easter themed cookie cutters. They're only plastic. I've never used them for that last year. Again, it was part of my activity. I think I put, um, like I led them on the tough tray and then kind of filled the shape with rice that I dyed different colors. So this year, I might actually use them for baking. I have lost some. Um, so I've got these two. I think I have got a couple of others as well. I got these on eBay actually, but yeah, it's just useful. And again, like I said, these are last year's and they'll last hopefully for a little while yet. So yeah, there's a few of these lying around. I saw this in Poundland this time. So this again is a Peter Rabbit thing. And actually it's where you get these little cardboard collars, I suppose, like an egg stand. And you can color them in. It also comes with stickers as well. I just really bought it for a bit of colouring in and a bit of sticker fun, really, because he loves stickers and he loves colouring in. So this was £1.50, I think. So yeah, it's just like a little activity where you get four of these things um, and two, I think, little sheets of stickers. So it's not loads, but as I said, it's just something he loves Peter Rabbit. So I thought I would just pick that up as well. I find these in the range and Poundland also do these as well. These are just little daisies, which again, is not specific. I mean, it is for Easter, but it's not really no specific Easter. It's also a spring thing. So even when Easter is over, you can still use these. So this is more for an activity or play idea sort of thing. Like if I do some sort of setup. But yeah, I just they're really nice and they were a pound. So I found this in the range. So I've had this for ages because I went to the range a long time ago, like just as all the Easter stuff came out. Just see, is that a bit of glue on the top? Um, anyway, yeah, so it's a little shaker. So it's a perfect little size for his hand. Obviously it's Easter egg shaped and colors as well. So I thought I might put this on his Easter hunt. So I haven't got loads of stuff like to put outside. So I'm gonna have to have a little think what I can use for him other than chocolate, I mean. But yeah, this is definitely gonna be one of the things that he's gonna go and look for in our garden. I also got another cookie cutter. This is from National Trust. Um, it was two pounds, which, you know, for one cookie cutter obviously isn't, cheap I suppose really but it's really sweet so it's a metal one so it's probably better quantity than the plastic ones because how well they'll actually work I don't know so I got this one like a little chick so I thought that was really sweet they also had a I think they had a rabbit one as well so yeah I had to get that when I saw it also from the range I've kind of held this bag as well because I mean it's not really like Easter themed but I thought maybe I could even put this on his Easter hunt so I can't remember what they, what they call this, but it's like a musical instrument, as you can see. So you've got the beater, and obviously you just like strike it along here. Some sort of bar, they call it. I can't like a long bar. I don't know if I'm right or wrong, but I think it was, I don't know, £1.49. I have a feeling at the range. So I thought maybe this could just either go in his Easter hunt or in his basket. I got these two little, they're called bunnies in buckets. Um, and again, I mean, whether I'll use that just as his tough tray or whether he'll find it, but it's just, you know, it's just a little something really. I mean, I know these things, they're a pound, aren't they? I mean, I spent a lot of money all together, but yeah, it's just something a little extra. So you have to have chicks in Easter, don't you? And if you're doing an Easter basket, you probably will have got these. These are from last year. I can't remember where from, probably Poundland. I mean, obviously Poundland the range, they all had them. So I didn't get any more. I think I found about 
five I think that I've counted so we're obviously missing some but that's enough so I didn't want to buy any more. Um, have to be a bit more organised this year because I kind of had kept it all together but I think they all just got a bit um I don't know they all kind of, everything's just kind of gone a bit walk about and missing but never mind so I've got some of these as I say Arthur loves stickers so I had to buy some Easter stickers so this big sheet is from the range I can't remember how much they were um they had different ones and Poundland had them as well I did buy some other stickers for Arthur and Poundland but I just bought train ones I think it was um so not specifically Easter and he's used those anyway so yeah but I'm holding these back for his Easter basket and I thought these were really good these are colour your own Easter egg decorations so there's two in there they're wooden and it does come with felt pens which I might use or I might just get them to paint them but we had something really similar for Halloween we had pumpkin ones and we also had like Christmas tree decorations ones as well so yeah, he really got on well with those, so I thought I would just get some. These are from the range, and they're, I, don't, I can't remember how much they were, but it's probably like a pound, maybe two pounds, something like that. Not specifically Easter, and these are really old. Actually, I think one of these, you know, one of these, I had one like this, and then I think Arthur was bought one when he was little, um, so I don't know if this is, strictly speaking, mine or his, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like loosely Easter related, isn't it? Or like spring related baby animals, so... I might put this in Zisa basket. He hasn't seen them for ages and I found them the other day. So yeah, he might like to play with them again. And I think that's the thing, you can just reuse things. So if there's things you can find kind of spring or Easter related around your house, you can just put together. Like if your child hasn't played with it for a while, that's what I've done really, or something that you've used last year. So anything that you buy for Easter, just make sure you keep it. Like I said, I'm definitely gonna try and keep it a bit more organised this year, which I did try last year, in all fairness to me, but I don't know how, I think it all just, I had it in a basket, in his toy box, but I think it all fell out, and yeah, I just kind of, everything went a bit walkabout, so I'm going to be better this year, but here are some more, it doesn't match, but yeah, I have got random parts of these eggs in places, there, I know there are a couple more um, downstairs as well, they do break, as you can see, so they come with like a hinge, but it's only plastic, so it's very flimsy, but it does still work without the hinge so yeah you can obviously mix and match it too I've also got some pom-poms so these are from last year I think or I think these actually came in a craft kit that I had um, so I've got different colors I've been trying to find because I prefer like the the big ones um and, you know the really small ones I just think there's too much of a choking hazard because Arthur does put things in his mouth still sometimes um this size isn't too bad but this size is better but when I looked on eBay it all came with like really small ones and I thought I just want a bag or whatever of big ones but I couldn't really find them but anyway yeah so I got these again it's not specifically Easter um but it might just be good to do like a little activity with them so I've kind of like kept these aside anyway and then last but not least or maybe least you tell me is some ribbon so this was from last year as I say probably Poundland I expect and again I had I think there's actually four and I've only got two <laughs> ribbons uh, but yeah I've got like one yellow one with like little Easter eggs on um, and then this blue one has got carrots on. So I'm not sure what I'll do with it. I've kind of just, well, I found it. So I just like put it in this bag anyway. And it's like Easter bag. Last year, what I did is, I can't, they call it something, don't they? This activity where you put, I'd put like loads of ribbon on like top of a box and then put his toys in it. So then he had to kind of like try and get his toys out with the ribbon wrapped around the box. I don't know if that makes sense. So I'm not sure if I'll do something like that, but I could even just decorate his basket with it. I don't know, but anyway, I've got it. So you can always get this type of thing wherever really. So, phew, there's quite a lot there. Not loads actually. I think that's like, it's a decent amount, isn't it? So that's everything that I have to show you in the haul. As I say, that was pretty much all from Poundland and the range, apart from like one chocolate in Aldi and one chocolate in Asda. So now I'm going to try and put together a basket so I will show you that and show you kind of what I'm going to do for Arthur and then I'll come back after. Right so here is what I've put in his Easter basket and I've just really kind of quickly done this um, so I might kind of try and make it look a bit better. So he's got his stickers, sorry he's got, he's got his stickers, his Easter activity book and that Peter Rabbit figurine kind of painting set. He's got his little, little um easter egg decorations and also that little bug to paint i've just put the cookie cutters in there because i don't know like i said he might just want to play with them but i just thought it kind of helps to brighten up a little bit i've put the little cuddly toys in there that i found i just put one of those in there um i don't know we could kind of pretend the little ducks are on it even though he's a baby and that's not duck eggs but you know 
that's all right. I did put a couple of these pom-poms in there. Um, again, just to add a bit of colour, but like I said, I could try and do some activity with them, but I just thought I'll put them in there anyway. I did put some chocolate in there, so I think I put two of these little chocolate lambs from Aldi and then also I've got that little milky bar little rabbit in there too I've also got those paint your own eggs in there and then also I think there's two of these in here I don't know if the other one's fallen somewhere you've got those and then also the stamp set so it's pretty much everything is kind of based on painting and uh, that kind of thing so we've got the stamps the eggs those eggs the Peter Rabbit ones, and then we've got the activity book and the stickers. So it's kind of all on that theme. A couple of bits of chocolate, cookie cutters, and then a couple of like little, you know, specific Easter toy things. So that is it. That is his little Easter basket. Um, like I said, I probably just like present that to him. I didn't put his Easter egg in it because I'm saving that for Easter itself. So I'm not going to show him that. But you no, know, if he wants to kind of tuck into a little bit of Easter chocolate from now I don't mind that so that is his little Easter basket Arthur's very first one so in terms of his Easter hunt obviously I'm going to end it with the Easter egg I will put a couple of these in these fillable eggs um, and I might do a couple of, the, of them otherwise it probably won't look like much so yeah I might do what I mean is I'll put a couple in one egg but I'll have a couple of these or that size in the garden so I'll do a few of those I'm also I think gonna probably save that for the Easter hunt too I think like I said I'll put one of these sheep in one of those fillable eggs as well I've got that on the hunt and then maybe that or maybe I should put that in this basket actually yeah I think I might put that in this basket because I think like, I reckon that's a bit better. I think, yeah. So that's his Easter basket, guys. So I've changed it slightly. Um, but yeah, so we'll do that, the egg. So yeah, so I have a few things here. Just have like a couple of bits of chocolate, um, that really big chocolate there, a little sheep, which I think he'll like, and his little musical instrument. And then we'll just finish with the Easter egg. So the only things that kind of obviously are missing are like the cupcake kit, but that doesn't matter. Um, his like better cookie cutter and and like the flowers so I've got pipe cleans in there as well yeah we've got the flowers and also the carrots so obviously won't include that um I didn't put the ribbon so I could always like put his little ribbon around this now or something like that but yeah so that is kind of basically his easter basket and his little easter hunt that I'm gonna do Thank you so, so much for watching this video, everyone. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you have a lovely Easter long weekend. Hopefully the sun will come out. Who knows? The weather's been so changeable recently. Um, but yeah, and have a lovely Easter holidays if you or your children are off. Yeah, I hope you have an amazing time. But thank you so, so much for watching this one. Please do like this video if you enjoyed it. I will leave my Pineland and the Range Come Shop With Me videos below. And yes, please do subscribe. I'd really love to have you here. I post lots of things about hauls but also kind of mainly motherhood and other videos too so i really love to have you here but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye everyone <laughs>